Welcome to this, the Gorwa Symposium of 2023, which I'm very happy to convene here at our University of Bayreuth. For those of us encountering Gorwa for the first time in the context of this symposium, Gorwa is a South Cushitic language spoken in Tanzania by approximately 133,000 people in and around the Babati district in the north central part of the country. Here we can see Gorwa mapped near the center of this language map of the Tanzanian Rift, showing the rich regional language ecology in which Gorwa exists. For a brief overview of the language, I direct those interested to an introduction to Gorwa given as part of this class, which can be accessed via the QR code on screen. Briefly, my involvement with Gorwa began in 2012 during my master's studies and has extended to present. This image is of myself and Gorwa language consultant Raheli Lawi, with whom I've worked for the past 10 years. For some further context, this Gorwa symposium is an event associated with the University of Bayreuth course Linguistic Field Research Methods, where participants learned how to work with speakers of a language with which they were not familiar by conducting linguistic elicitation. Now, typically, linguistic field methods courses look a bit like the illustration by Iris Kruisdijk on screen. A researcher or researchers will be in the same physical location as the language consultant with whom they work. In our case, however, Gorwa language consultant Hezekiah Cody was in Tanzania, and the rest of us were in Bayreuth and other places around the world. So as such, we turned to internet communication technology con to conduct our elicitation remotely. In practice, this took the form of weekly WhatsApp group calls where Hezekiah would respond to our questions from a quiet room in Babati, Tanzania. Working with a high quality audio recorder set up next to him, all of our sessions were recorded and then shared among participants, such that we could listen and, li and re-listen to Hezekiah's words and phrases. I should now mention that my colleague and our Gorwa language consultant, Hezekiah Cody, is a scholar and Gorwa speech community member who not only is proficient in Gorwa and Swahili, the regional lingua franca uh, in this part of East Africa, but also in English. And as such, his involvement in the course was invaluable as participants could ask him questions in English, which he could then provide equivalents for in Gorwa. So it goes without saying that Hezekiah is at the heart of this endeavor, and I think I speak for all of our other participants when I say that we deeply appreciate his work. In terms of content, what follows in today's symposium are a series of short talks from the participants in this course, during which they will share with us what they learned during their individual data collection and the patterns they identified when pursuing their specific research topics. I should make clear that the participants in this course are not Gorwa specialists. Most participants have been working with Gorwa for only four months. As such, transcriptions and analyses should only be seen as preliminary. But with that said, what attendees at today's symposium should expect is a series of diverse approaches to complex language data and refreshing new insights on patterns that could really contribute to our understanding of the Gorwa language. Though preliminary, all of the research is real and relevant. So to our participants, I would like to say thank you in advance for all of your effort. I recognize that this course is challenging, but I believe that all of you rose to the occasion and did a great job. What remains is only for you to enjoy giving your talks and engage with the questions and comments and to celebrate the Gorwa language and what we've learned over the course of the semester. Thank you, and I look forward to learning from all of you today.